All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you, poop, with a video response to the Mime channel. Uh, Mime recently did a video where she uh, watches uh, some of her very first uh, videos, and this is kind of a, uh, a popular thing that's going around on YouTube, because I saw her do it, I saw PewDiePie do it, and uh, a couple others, but those are the main ones that pop into my head at the moment. So, I don't have a super uh, fancy setup, I don't have like video capture or any of that other stuff, so we're kind of doing this a little old school since this is essentially an old school video so um i got my gopro aimed up here and i'm just gonna have the uh the videos on full screen and i will put links to those videos down in the uh the boopy boop down below so you guys can check them out as well uh, be forewarned they're pretty bad <laughs> but you know, it's it's good to see where you came from and you know how far you've gotten. And keep in mind these videos are about seven to eight years old, so they're almost a decade old. So just keep that in mind. So the first one we're gonna watch is Andy San's piano medley take one. This is actually the very first video that I ever did. And uh, just a little background to this before we start the video, I'll just put up on full screen. I'm not gonna play it just yet. But uh, like I said, a little background on this video. Um, this was back when I was still at Urbana University in Urbana, Ohio, still going to college, and in the in one of the rec rooms, I believe it was Hazard Center, if uh, memory serves. It was almost 10 years ago, so. Anyway, in one of the rec rooms, there, there was a, an electronic piano, and every once in a while, I'd go in there and just kind of plunk around just in my own free time, and uh, my best friend, uh, Talk Madalkin, also known as Ariopolis, happened to have his, uh, his little camera with him, and I told him, you know, I want to record something, put it up on YouTube. You know, what's YouTube? Well, it was this newfangled thing at the time, and I just wanted to record a video just to put something up you know so uh we did this and uh <laughs> here we go andy sans piano medley take one also i was really drunk off of uh some alcoholic energy drinks back when they sold those called sparks so let's watch oh. Four. Oh, go. <laughs> That's actually not too bad. I mean, a lot of people in the comments are like, oh my god, your playing technique is so horrible, and probably is. I'm, I'm not a professional piano pianist here, guys. I'm just some drunk college dude just plunking around on some keyboards, doing some stuff that I learned, and holy shit, my hair is like really long. Like, I got really long sideburns and shit going. I kind of wish I could grow those out again, but... Anywho, um, yeah, I mean, it's not too bad, all things considered. You know, the sound quality is pretty good considering it's like eight years old. And then I go to this Castlevania-esque theme type thing. Ten seconds, oh my god. That, that's Eric talking. Da, da, da. And that's the video. I'll just cancel that before it starts auto-playing something else. So, overall, not too bad. Uh, let's see, this was released February 2nd, 2007. Holy shit, that was a long-ass time ago. Uh, let's look at some of the comments. You're not playing with proper technique. Your other finger should never get past your thumb. Man, your hand covered the part I didn't know how to play. Good job anyways. You don't seem comfortable. Dude, you are the nerdiest human who has ever lived. Yeah. <laughs> Not much has changed in, se in like seven, eight years. So, anyway, moving on. So, uh, next video is called Test Vlog. Now, just a little background to this before we uh, look at this monstrosity. Is um, I was living over at uh, the house I grew up in. And... Uh, my cousin owned it at the time, and I was living with him because I got kicked out of uh, my mom and stepdad's place. So I was living with them, and I kind of wanted to get in the whole YouTube thing because I just got kicked out of college, and I you know, just kind of wanted to start the whole vlogging thing. But my setup was really terrible at the time. So keep in mind, this was done on basically a $20 webcam from Walmart back in 2007. So I had that setup going, and the thing is, the webcam didn't have built-in. It didn't have a built-in mic, so I had to substitute by using an old karaoke mic. And 
holy shit, this video is so bad. And I'm just talking about random stuff, and I have no, like, <laughs> I have no charisma in this video, so uh, we're gonna watch this monstrosity in its entirety. God help us. <sighs> Let's begin. Okay, uh, hey guys, it's the Andy Son here. <laughs> check, check, one, two, three, it's the Andy Son here. Check it, check it. Yeah. Which is, uh, good news. For me. And, oh, Jesus. Yeah. Sort of. Wow, this is just like heavy breathing on the mic, like yeah, I'm so uncomfortable right now. This is my first vlog. <laughs> but anyway. And uh yeah, since it doesn't have its just, own microphone, I'm just using this one right here. Yeah, that, that's what I just explained. It's just microphone just a and basic karaoke mic that I got from a Walmart. Only like ten bucks. It's not bad. Get all my stuff from the Walmart. You no, know, probably gives you Ohio represent audio than standard like webcam mic. Or oh, holy uh, shit! That's so untrue. It all works out, I guess. I guess. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's really uh, brutal today. Oh man, that worked though. I work at this uh, new restaurant. It's, uh, oh, uh, so a little backstory here. Um, oh, Jesus, I just breathed it on the mic really bad. But anyway, a little backstory. I was working at uh, my best friend, Talk Vidalkin. His uh, mom at the time opened up a restaurant. And so uh, I was uh, working for them at the time. And it was really busy when it first started. So I was basically like the guy in the back doing dishes and stuff. So um, it was a good time. Just my own imagination. A lot of fun things. The fuck was I doing with that? I don't know. Uh, excuse me again. I got a scratchy throat. You got a scratchy uh, something. I don't know what. Yeah. I've just been working all week. And, uh... Holding down. I've been, up. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I've God. been, up. Uh, going on uh, long bike rides too because uh, where I live at there's a uh, you know I trail. think if I would have put like a, a windsock like or, or something or if I wouldn't have like five, practically five, like five, deep throated the mic I think the audio quality and, uh, for its time over, wouldn't have been so bad the bike trail from where I live you know consider considering it was made in like 2007 so uh, the next town's Walmart oh, Jesus. which is another five miles so I'm explaining uh, my various bike Bike riding journeys so, and stuff like that. So, some odd miles. Yeah, just me biking and I mean, losing weight. Obese. Stiff. I'm not like morbidly obese or anything. Not morbidly obese or anything, but how does that? Pounds or two. Anyway. Yeah, just a couple pounds. Just a couple. I guess. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I don't know. But I keep on weighing myself every day. And Holy shit. Is this video almost over? i losing much weight. I think I'm going to kill myself. This is, know, like, this really, is really, really bad. Or what that is for my answer. Oh, my God. I actually look a lot better than when I first started. I, I, I bet I do. But, hey. I'm so sexy keep right on, now. Keep on until it starts snowing. <laughs> It snows a lot in uh, really, really cold in, in Ohio, by the way. Oh God! Why am I making? Uh. Uh. Anyway, in my spare time, besides biking and working, I also you know, make YouTube videos for God knows how many hours. I also play guitar. Oh yeah. Well, guitar. I totally yeah. forgot I did that. <laughs> I should probably get on that little side note. Um, oh, okay. There it is. Yeah, it's oh, over. Oh, Jesus. There. Okay, so... Yeah. there -ish. If I remember right, I did this with the uh, the YouTube Sorry, capture this feature. It doesn't have much of a view. It's just kind of like a little, little boxed-in view. So I, like I, I think I'm... A, I think, yeah, I don't know where my hands are. They're just kind of... They're just kind of all over the place right now. I mean, holy shit! It's over here, off screen. Dipping you off. Yeah, um, probably. Anyway, I think I'm recording uh, this on, like, YouTube Capture or something. Like this vlog is becoming really retarded, I guess, because... <laughs> Understatement of the year! Um, because I don't really... Uh, I don't really, I with much words say. and the talking and so, the English... Yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm just probably gonna and, uh, kill I'll this just, and, you know, just... A lull, I suppose. Yeah, <laughs> lots of lols to be had yeah. with this guy. Okay, so we'll just stop that there. Oh boy! 
that was that was uh, that was pretty brutal. So that was with my really crappy webcam setup. So let's see uh, something with uh, with an actual camera setup. So next up is going to be my very first like vlog vlog, not a test vlog or you know an audio log or whatever. I tried to come up with the term slog, which is sound log, which slog turns out to be something else British because I don't know. Anywho, so um, this is my very first like vlog vlog. So it's called Where I'm At. And uh, I basically just talk about myself, give a little intro to myself at the time. This was back in September 2nd, 2008. So like almost eight years ago, holy shit. Um, at the time of this recording anyway. So I'm just basically explaining my, you know, explaining who I am, where I'm at, and the name of the vlog. So uh, this was done on my old uh, Sanyo Zach DCG6, which was the very first camera that I owned, my very first like little video camera that I owned, because I got it because um, I was really inspired by a lot of the, uh, the very first uh, Japan vloggers or J vloggers, as they're also called. And so I was, you know, I was in the market for getting a cam getting an actual camera rather than a, the shitty ass webcam that I had, which ended up dying anyway. Go figure. So I looked to uh, see what Tokyo Kuni was doing at the time. And he had uh, a Sanyo Zacti, but he was using a more expensive one at the time. So I was like, well, let's see if they have like a lower end one, just something that's within my budget. So I found a Sanyo Zacti CG6 on eBay for a little over a hundred. And uh, it was very used, the tripod mount stripped. And that was interesting trying to do videos with the tripod mount stripped. I'd, I'd come up with all kinds of creative ways, like putting it in cups and things like that. So, with that said, let's begin the video. Guess what, kids? Jamie san has got his own camera now. The thinly veiled Tokyo Kuni reference. Oh, yeah. Good times. Good times and So, basically, with, with this, uh, with this video, this was actually done at, uh, my old house out in Salina. Now I have. And, uh, my parents don't live there anymore, but it's, it's kind of nice to see, uh, my, my old house in the background be between my big, giant fucking head. But, I mean, it's, it's just really great for the money. I mean, so great for the money. Step away from the camera. Holy fuck balls. I know that fish eyes weren't really a thing back then, but holy fuck. I think you can see someone crawling in my nose. I always found it tedious to kind of, you know, like this and then... Oh my god, why? To just kind of see, you know, what's going on. Anyway, so I do miss my transition glasses. Normal retail a little bit. sells for about 200 and uh, Walmart, they had it a uh, clearance to like 133 So even with shipping and all that shit, which collectively added up to 120 I think it was 22 or 27 I'm Yeah, 122 dollars. You know, I saved like... Great for the money. So I mean, bitchin. Bitchin. But uh, the big uh, drawback with this camera is that the uh, tripod mount is stripped. And we got about eight minutes Just left of this video. Right <laughs> Now keep in mind this was back when um, 10 minutes was the limit for YouTube, so I would try to cut it a little bit before, so I started wrapping it up at around like 9.30, it's like, oh shit, 9.30, I gotta stop. And five, 512 megabytes, not gigabytes, megabytes. Which isn't so bad. Keep that in mind. That's, you know, perfect size for vlogging. But uh, if I wanted to do something more, like maybe capture some footage and then Get the fuck out of here. edit it. And just kind of like did it, compile everything, then we'd have a bit of a problem. Yeah, because 512 megabytes is only enough for like three minutes of HD video. To uh, yes. purchase a uh, bigger memory card, obviously. This thing is SDHC compatible. So I SDHC, like holy shit. Maybe in like 16 gig. Maybe? No oh man, 16 gig. So holy shit. I'm pretty confident about this camera. And uh, the future that, you know, it will bring me because when I bought this camera, my uh, parents were obviously a little pissed because ri right now I'm saving up for a car. Yeah, they, they were kind of mad about it, but... It was July. You know, I... My blog to be sure. I just... You know, getting this camera is actually, like, the most just-do-it kind of thing. Anyway, it, the truck broke down. 
So, yeah, I've been yeah. looking for a new vehicle ever since. This is also during my little existential uh, hippy dippy self improvement kind of saved up for right now. Uh, stint. And my parents are a little pissed because it's the beginning of September and I only have 250 bucks saved up. Now, granted, wow. I get paid this uh, coming Thursday, but still, they're really quite pissed that, you know, I'm splurging all my money, you know, buying cameras and shit. But they don't realize the potential that a camera can bring me. I mean, look uh, at, you know, Tay Zonday, freaking Chocolate Rain, dude. Oh, man, Chocolate they Rain. You guys remember that? Camera, a sheet, microphone, and piano. Yeah. And he recorded Chocolate Rain, which got you know, millions <sighs> of views on YouTube. And got him, you know, gigs on, like, the Jimmy Kimmel show. I forgot Jimmy you know, Kimmel's been around like for that long. Wow. Now, I don't plan on recording, you know, anything like Chocolate Rain or anything like that. But I do plan on selling some of my items on eBay. Items. Oh, yeah. Just That's right. I forgot so about that. For my so, faster than just um, work. I, I tried, I, I originally and got the camera so I could uh, take like pictures of stuff so I could sell them on so eBay. Because I had a bunch of just, just crap I wanted to get rid of. And, and I just wanted to sell them for extra cash. So that was what I told my parents. It's like, hey, I got the camera so I can sell stuff. And then I just use it for vlogging just because. But it's just... It's the same thing, day in, day out, you get... Oh yeah, Walmart you know, sucks, by the way, to work at. Same things, talking about the same stuff. Especially working in a small town. Now, bigger town, probably not so much, boring. just because you get a bigger more. amount of customers, but know, little small small town, Podunk, Ohio. Applied at Bowling Green State University. Oh, yeah. I plan on majoring in uh, Asian studies yeah. with an emphasis on Japanese. Now, this Majoring in Asian studies, that will program, even it's that'll get me places. Age, Maybe like you know, four years Japan. Away. But it's done in three years, which will save me a shit ton in the long run. Yeah. Now, I also plan on a dual minoring in a management information systems yeah. and creative writing. I wanted to a uh, dual minor in a management I was so, like, uh, writing because... Driven back then, but systems. it's like I, can use I was driven, for but for tag. a lot of the wrong reasons. And, uh, actually, do something with them because I don't know. I just, I just you know majored in Asian studies, and that was it. Then all my old credits from ITT Tech would just you know, go to waste. And besides, I have I think around 26 or 27 credit hours. I don't even know if those are any good so anymore. I, I mean, it's been almost 10 okay. years. They're actually, kind of take it back. It's been over 10 years you know, actually use them. since I've done and that. So I don't know if those credits are still good or not. Enough, so. you know, we'll see when I get out and go back to college. Anyway, I may have to take like a class or two, but that's about it. Now, for creative writing, it's a little bit more obvious why I'm picking that. It's yeah. because I, I want to uh, now keep in mind this expand is yeah, I said and, expand. Uh, have my blog grow. This is back when right well, now, I was primarily a, a blogger versus you know, a vlogger. I to be. So I, I would do better, mostly um, not quite you know personal life stuff on my blog. So it was kind of like a diary old, of sorts. You know my old posts and uh, and uh, some of the writing. I pretty much after this video, that's when I started switching over mostly to video. It was a slow process, but I eventually got there. Much better. Where are I mean, we at? I've Time check. A lot of great things on six and a half. I mean, I about three so, minutes you know, or let's so just left. Try to go back, even though. Yes, I owe Urbana University a ton of money. Yeah, which I'm paying off pretty well you know, right now. So insisted that you know I apply somewhere else and see what happens. I mean, worst case scenario, I'm just out forty bucks for the uh, application fee, yeah. and that's about it. So Man, I, I totally know, forgot that this uh, was let's go for it. this was during my uh, my dark period. They got my so from when I got kicked out of college in uh, May of 2007 to uh, June of 2010 when I joined the Navy was a really dark time for me. And minimum requirement GPA is like I didn't know what I was doing at all. Mine was like 2.33 or like 2.0 or something like that. So it was close, but not quite up to their standards. Wow. So I was given the chance to appeal it. I obviously did. I sent in the appeal letter about a week or so ago, and uh, I haven't heard back from them yet. I wonder why. 
I called them, not today, but uh, the other day. Oh, jeez. And they said that normally, since I applied for the spring semester, this which is, is the beginning is of, of a January, almost said July, <laughs> you know, it takes a little bit longer to process everything, which, I mean, I can understand, but also, in the same sense, I want to know if I'm going to college or not. So, I mean... I want to, uh, I don't want to go out and buy a bunch of things and then have them come back saying, buy a bunch of things like cameras and stuff, you know? I don't want to go out and do that. I bought a whole bunch of stuff for my dorm and I can't use it. Fuck. I can use it, it's so just not really going to be make that sure practical. As soon as possible, and whether or not I'm accepted at Bowling Green. And if I am, then, you know. I won't immediately go out and buy things, but just kind of like one at a time, because I still have a lot of old things from Urbana that I can still use, like my uh, sheets and things like that, which honestly, when I went to Urbana, that was the most expensive thing to buy. So Just because they were, uh, I think they were the extra long sheets, so those were harder to find than just your standard sheets. From, uh, my, one of my old roommates, he, uh, my first roommate at Urbana left, I think only like not even a month into it. Oh yeah. And uh, he Evan. left a lot of stuff, like some of his posters and uh, trash liners, which you know, yeah, thank that was, God. That was Evan. He uh, no he line. got in with a uh, some kind so of soccer major or the soccer scholarship, I yeah, should say. Were you when I was in and uh, I mean, he was only there for like a month. And he was really cool, movie. really chill. Yeah, you know, used the trash. And then uh, I mean, I was my second uh, like roommate, Matt. He was I don't know, man. He was just lazy, unmotivated. Too. I didn't really like him that much. I see that we're and plus, the uh, ten-minute limit for YouTube. Oh, Jesus, so okay. <laughs> Thank God, we're almost done. And uh, let's just uh, sign off. Real quick. Let's just okay. sign off so, real quick. Hoping that you guys all have a good day, and I look forward to uh, seeing you all in the future. Bye now. Oh, good lord. Yeah, this was before my "We'll see you next time" kind of thing. So that came from. Uh, one of the guys I watched a lot, uh, Roger Swan. So he would uh, end all his videos with, you know, we'll see you next time. So I, ever since his, uh, his passing in 2010, uh, just as a tribute to him, I would end all my videos with, uh, we'll see you next time. Or some variant of that, so. Holy crap, dude. That's some crazy stuff. And, you know, some people would uh, get rid of those videos. They think they would be too embarrassing. They are, but... You know, I keep those videos up just to show how far I've come. You know, not only in video quality, where I was at in life, just how I am in front of the camera. I feel I'm a lot more uh, confident now in front of the camera and uh, just stuff like that. So, yeah, you know, a lot of people ask me, you know, how, how do you get into the whole YouTube thing? You know, I'm afraid I'm going to look like a dork or something like that or I don't know how to talk to a piece of glass. But, you know, it all comes with time, man. You just gotta, just gotta do it. You just gotta keep going. And you'll eventually correct yourself and you'll start to notice that your videos get better and better and they start to sound better and better. And eventually you'll get to, to a point where, you know, your videos are pretty tolerable, at least in that time frame. But who knows, like maybe five years after a video you thought was really good, you know, ends up sounding like shit or something like that. Who knows? But uh, at that moment, it sounds pretty good. So uh, moral of the story is, you know, you just got to keep getting better and better with time and uh, practice. And you're not going to start off being super awesome. It, like I said, it all comes with time and practice. So this video has gone on super duper fucking long, like 24 some odd minutes for the long uh, raw cut. Anyway, it's probably going to be a lot less than that once I... Uh, cut it up but anyway so this concludes my uh video here and uh like i said i'll put uh links to uh these old gems in the uh the booby boob down below so you guys can watch them in their entirety although i don't know why you would but it's whatever so anyway thanks for watching this has been the andy song sign for now thanking you guys boop for tuning in to this video and my other stuff even my old stuff. <laughs> also want to thank you guys for liking, with the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, sending a few friends to the party. And hey, as always, we'll see you boop, next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.